Hey everyone, quick biochemistry basics here. Let's talk about Tim Hunt's experiment. In 1982, Tim Hunt discovered cyclin, a protein that has an important role in cell cycle. In those days, nobody knew how the cell cycle was regulated and what are the proteins that control the cell cycle. Tim Hunt wanted to study what all new proteins are made when sea urchin embryos undergo cell division. One way to resolve proteins is to isolate them and subject it to SDS page. However, to detect newly synthesized proteins from the proteins that are already synthesized, we have to use a pulse chase technique. In this, we pulse the cells with radio label amino acid and chase the radioactivity in newly synthesized protein by performing STS page and autoradiography. The presence of bands in autoradiography will indicate newly synthesized protein. Here's what Tim Hunt did. He took C. urchins embryo that were undergoing synchronous cell division and pulsed them with radio label methionine. Samples were withdrawn at different time intervals, proteins were isolated, subjected to STS page and autoradiography. The results that he found were surprising. He found proteins that appeared at one stage of cell cycle and disappeared in the other and because of the oscillating pattern, he called them as cyclins. Cyclin A peaks up during interphase and disappears during M phase or mitosis phase. Where cyclin B peaks up during M phase and disappears during interphase. Let's take a look at role of cyclins in cell cycle. Research has shown that cyclins don't act on their own, but they work in associating with proteins known as cyclin-dependent kinases or CDK. There are two major groups of cyclins, G1S cyclins and G2M cyclins. G1S cyclins control the cell cycle at G1 to S transition, whereas G2M cyclins control the cell cycle at G2 to M transition. G1S cyclins include cyclin A and CDK2 complex. This is active in S phase of the cell cycle. Cyclin D, CDK4 and cyclin E, CDK2 regulates transition from G1 to S phase. G2M cyclins includes cyclin B, CDK1 complex. This regulates transition from G2 to M phase.